My name is Kyle Mortson. I'm with Brandt Positioning Technology, and uh, I am specifically based out of Calgary. And joining me uh, this week at the conference is Joe Chisholm. Uh, Joe, if you could put your hand up. Hi, Joe. Thank you. And a little history on us. Uh, uh, we were recently incorporated into the Brandt Group of Companies to provide TopCon survey and engineering uh, instruments, survey instruments, uh, to uh, Western Canada exclusively. Uh, we have an engineering services division to provide implementation and training and support for the products we carry. And some of the uh, <laughs> products that we cover uh, include RTK GNSS receivers, which uh, are scalable for every size of project that you require. Uh, GPS machine control, we're actually putting the uh, GPS equipment on, onto the graders and dozers to automate that process. Uh, basic construction lasers, uh, robotic total stations, uh, and uh, I just want to add that Topcon and Autodesk uh, signed a collaboration agreement to uh, improve the workflow process from getting a design model into our field software, which uh, uh, improves, uh, uh, sorry, uh, eliminates mistakes in the field for the layout process. Uh, we also carry GIS and mapping handheld devices and our scanning and imaging line. Uh, Topcom was the first uh, manufacturer to introduce uh, scanning and robotic total stations combined into one instrument. So the products that uh, we're here promoting on a national level include the Topcon IPS2 mobile mapping system, uh, which uh, may have, you guys have seen in the previous presentation done by Sakia. Uh, this is the same system, so again it is a mobile LiDAR application, so it's collecting uh, laser, scanning, laser scanning information from a moving platform. So as you can see, this is a, uh, a, an application used uh, for an urban setting, and we've applied RGB values, so it is a uh, colorized point cloud. Here's another application. So this would be used for transportation engineers, something of a, a linear aspect. Uh, and again, here's, here's another uh, aspect with it. Uh, this uh, typically we see, uh, again, transportation engineers, urban planners, and this is all about capturing reality. So we can, we can then go to these power lines, these power bowls, and actually take measurements from all of this data. This is a point cloud of what you're seeing. And also it uh, incorporates a 360 degree uh, spherical images similar to Google Earth. And this was a bridge project that this was used on, of course. And the LiDAR data will actually be in behind this information. So uh, we can, uh, GIS uh, consultants can use this to supply information about a certain area that uh, a new building may be proposed. And uh, the other product that uh, uh, we're demonstrating uh, at the booth today was the Mantis Vision handheld laser scanner. Uh, so basically what this does is it captures uh, images with uh, an infrared, infrared grid laid underneath it. So uh, this would be used for more in the application of uh, smaller, uh, smaller areas with very high detail. So something like a uh, static laser scanner, a tripod scanner, for example, if we were to scan this pillar in the middle of the room, it may take two to three setups. With this system, we can actually walk around in one pass, collect that information in under 10 seconds, and have a 3D model of, or not a model, excuse me, a 3D point cloud made in, in less than five minutes. And then you can export that information and use it into whatever, uh, CAD modeling software that you choose. Uh, and this requires no registration targets at all. So the processing time is, is greatly reduced. So now take that idea and apply it to a very complex area, such as electrical, HVAC, plumbing, you name it. So uh, again, this is used in short range and in conjunction with laser scanners, uh, uh, excuse me, laser scanners for uh, a larger area like this room. 
So here's an example uh, used on a on a, s a submarine. It's we actually uh, sorry the the manufacturers actually scanned this uh, propeller here and produced the, that's a point cloud in, in the bottom right. And here's a, a screen capture of the system being used uh, on site on a on a project. So he actually scanned underneath the pipes, the pipe structure in behind it, and basically as he moved that instrument in and around the object, it was creating a, a point cloud in the processing software. So again, the advantage of this uh, to, uh, as compared to a static laser scanner is that it gains a lot of detail very quickly and the processing time is reduced significantly. So again, the range on it is one to four meters and the acquisition is 500,000 points per second. And its accuracy, accuracy is half a millimeter uh, over one meter. So you're looking at the range of four meters, you're looking at about two millimeter accuracy on that. So uh, the other product that we are showcasing at our booth as well is the MapTech long range scanning system. Uh, in particular, the 8810 series. It has a range of two kilometers. And typically we see that being used on uh, mine sites. Uh, we do have a shorter range, depending on your application. For interior, for example, we have the 8200 series model, which uh, will do a range of around 200 meters. And you, uh, the reason why it's not on here is because it is that new. <laughs> I didn't have a chance to put it on my, my presentation. So uh, with that, uh, uh, I'd like to wrap it up. And I'd like to uh, actually thank the uh, CANBIM committee for accepting us on such late notice. Uh, there's a confusion in the registration. So awesome. If you like a demonstration of the handheld scanner, you can also stop by the booth. So thank you.